vielleicht ein bisschen weiter weg. Ne? Zack, und jetzt gehst du direkt hier rüber, genau. Und ich habe recht wenig Chancen. Ne? So, uh, welcome, welcome again to um, how to take the mile mountain mountain fencing. This is part number eight, and the last one we've prepared today. So I hope you enjoyed everything already. This time I'm in a slightly more disadvantaged situation because I haven't a lance anymore. <laughs> I have a spear here, which is slightly shorter than our uh, improved lance, which is already a little bit short. So this one would be maybe a half meter or a meter longer for a lance, depending on the on the time you look at. This time I'm just armed with a with a with a slightly spear, which has above I think two and a half meters about this. Um, so I had to get closer to him. And there is not that much time to do crazy things for him um, than he did before, like uh, like breaking my 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 uh, my lance. Even it wouldn't ha it wouldn't work here because if this not this uh, Felix motivation stick uh, is here, it would it would just pass then. Huh? So it it don't tip the pop the, the ground or maybe just tip the ground, but I, essentially it it's it's in a range where I can just move it through huh? and maybe I can step at him afterwards, um, still, can, still can step. So he is more interested than getting this out of the way and um, him or out of his danger. Yeah. So when I'm, I don't know if the angle is right, so we turn a little Yeah, yeah, vielleicht drehen wir uns so ein bisschen. Reit einfach mal, reit einfach mal ab. Yeah, so we're turning well, with everything. Good, good. So, so my point good. here is, um, I want to control his weapon first and I want to be uh, past of his tip. And once I manage to do that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm uh, at Huntington, he gets it out of the way and put it over. So usually maybe he would put the, the, the head of the horse already, but we're trying to avoid this. And then this nasty thing grabs after me. And imagine I'm on the move. Come Felix, let's get on the move. He's just... Stop, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting serious right now, even with, 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 with slow speed, um, he will pull me over on the back side. Yeah. So he just has to think, I'm usually doing this at speed. If this happens at speed, if I'm in a full charge, he would hook off and then two things happen. Me losing the horse or him losing the axe. Yes. So whatever, if he can't, hop, can't keep it grabbed. So maybe he will need the point to put me off the side when he got the, the advantages of forces because I'm not sure if he can hold the weapon if we are in, in full speed from the back. So maybe on the back side he would lose his weapon. We can't do this here um, because we haven't the proper safety equipment. But you can um, imagine. But, but, but we can still imagine and we know the, 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 the ground principles, principles of of physics, this is my strong edge, this is my weak edge at this moment, and um, he will, or he, he must try to put me somewhere on the, on the weak point to the side away because I'm fully committed forward um, with a horse. Um, maybe I can try to, to turn it a little bit, but he will still do try to keep me and get away because um, I can't overrun him by side, even then he can take it, have, maybe have a dagger or something in the backside which can get from, from underneath to my armpit or to, to, to the backside from the below anywhere or even he can go against the horse. Um, many, many nasty things so I don't really want to get that close to him. Even my horse is trained to, to, to kick or some, do some crazy things but even then this also works if he's in front of him. <laughs> he's already yeah. relaxing for yeah. kicking me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's relaxing it. I can do this if he's in front or in the back of me at the side, it's very difficult. So this is quite a safe position for him to, to put me over at this. And if I got this, maybe I would raise, or push or yeah, throw the reins and Felix will stop. And then he's also, I lose my, my, my speed advantage 
um, if I got this initial shock to the, to the back, I would, by reflex, maybe maybe push the reins. Felix will stop them, or the horse will stop them. Um, and then I'm out of my, my speed advantage, and even then it's maybe realistic that he, by his force, because he controls, can push me over the back. So many things you can imagine what happened then. Essentially, when he's on my throat with this, it's, it's, a, it's a really bad feeling for me, even with the safe equipment. Um, and I'm quite out of out of chance of responding because when you do it again, and can you can you yeah. put it again here? Um, if, if he's in front of me, so my arm is fully blocked. I can't get to my to my backup weapon on on the on this side. If I don't have something here like a, a, a hammer or something to to smash him on the right side, um, but I'm sure he as a professional uh, pikeman and uh, night hooker. <laughs> um, will already uh, have checked this out by far um, and then have do or then would maybe do some other of the nasty things we've seen before. So yeah. that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and yeah. Thank you Christian. Yeah, hey. Thank you Fabi. And <laughs> thanks thanks Felix. Oh yeah. yes. And um, thank you.